Hey guys, it's Jovi, and I wanted to come and tell y'all about this recent arrest in the passing of the beloved actor, Matt Perry, Matthew Perry from Friends, from a lot of things. Y'all, five people have been arrested recently, including two doctors. It is going down, okay? They are saying that these doctors just, you know, put all of these drones into him so they could like get as much money as possible. It is crazy. Okay. So I'm going to drop this intro and then we're going to get into the article because it is going down. Okay, guys, we're back. So I got this article, NBC News came out this morning, okay? It says five people, including, including two California doctors, a reputed drug dealer, child, known as Ketamine Queen, what? And Matthew Perry's living personal assistant, Pete Gaines this is crazy, have been charged in connection with the accident, with the actor's accidental overdose um, today, okay? Perry, who was 54, was found face down in a heated, in the heated end of a pool at his Pacific Palisades, Palisades house last year. We all know this in LA, okay? The medical examiner attributed his, de his death to acute effects of ketamine and, and anesthesia um, an anesthetic with psychedelic properties. Okay, so he was, they got him hopped up, hot up. A lot of these celebrities be hot up, okay? According to the 18 count super indictment, goodness gracious, 18 counts, okay? A North Carolina, a North Hollywood resident who sold ketamine and other um, drugs provided Perry's assistant with the ketamine and ultimately led to the actor's passing. Okay, the assistant, Kenneth, Aswa, whatever his name is, injected Perry with the drug on the day that he passed, according to the indictment. Girl, I'm not injecting you with nothing except if it's diabetes medicine. Not me. I ain't no nurse. I ain't no doctor. You a personal assistant. Go sit your ass down. Anyway, the um, syringe was provided by Dr. Salvador Palestino, who had also distributed ketamine to Perry and his assistant in the past. Okay. Um, so Sanj, who was 41, and Placidio, who's 42, these are the doctors. They were both arrested today in California. They were both charged with one count of conspiracy to the distribute ketamine. Um, a North Hollywood resident, one of them is a North Hollywood resident who hold due citizenship in the U.S. and the U.K., is also charged with several other Oh, another one. Not one of the doctors. It's also got dual citizenship and is also charged with several drug related accounts. Okay. Okay. Um, the lawyer for one of the doctors said in did not immediately respond to the request for comments. She was arrested in March in connection with a separate federal separate federal drug charge, but released was released from custody after posting a hundred stacks for bail. Um, neither one of the lawyers. Uh, neither one of the doctor's lawyers uh, replied. Uh, his assistant, who was a 59-year-old man, pleaded guilty on August the 7th to one count of conspiracy to distribute ketamine causing a death. He admitted to repeatedly injecting Perry with it um, without medical training because you're an assistant. Assist. Including on the day that the actor passed. The assistant sung like a bird. He better had. Um, Dr. Marsh... Uh, Dr. Marf, Mark Chavez, a, physical, a physician based in San Diego, has agreed to plead guilty on one kind of conspiracy to distribute ketamine. Prosecutor said he admitted to selling. Um, he admitted to selling it, including some that have been diverted from his former clients. Okay, he listen. They are making bust. The fifth defendant, Eric Flemings, 
um, who described in court documents as an acquaintance of Perry, who helped him obtain ketamine. He admitted to distributing the ketamine that killed Perry. Drugs that per, uh, he was that was procured from Sanji, who's the doctor. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. So Matthew Perry's family said they are heartbroken. They don't know what the heck is going on. The LA police in May said they were working on, with federal authorities because this they trying to wrap these holes up to investigate where he got the ketamine from. Um, it's a ketamine apparently. I don't know. I only occasionally smoke a little herb. I don't know about none. Of, I don't know about none. Okay. But apparently ketamine has a, is a popular um, party drug for decades. In recent years, it has shown a promise as an alternative treatment for depression, okay? A growing number of clinics offer it as an infusion or injection for a wide variety of mental health problems. Wow. They said Perry was ongoing ketamine infusion therapy to treat depression and anxiety, but his last section, session took place more than a week prior to his passing. The metal ex, uh, medical examiner noted that the ketamine in his system could not be from the infusion therapy, okay? The levels in his body were too high, equivalent to that of a general anesthesia during surgery. Oh my gosh. The court, the coroner ultimately ruled um, his passing an accident, but then you know they did what they did. Oh my goodness! When I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, be careful about the drugs out there. Okay, they talking about a grain of fentanyl is killing people. Okay, y'all need to be very freaking careful. Okay, I don't know, and stop being supportive in foolishness. Stop being supportive. The assistant probably um, gave the shot because, you know, he felt like he needed to keep his job and his boss told him to. But at the end of the day, now he's got a charge. His boss is gone. Check done. And now you got a charge. Now you are criminal with a charge, okay? You are not a nurse. Mind the business that pays you and say no to drugs, okay? We're going to see how this continues. I want to know who are the other clients of these two doctors? It's crazy. So it's the two doctors who were laughing about it, apparently. I heard they were like, how much money do you think we could get up out of him? It was wild. Okay, so it was two doctors, the assistant, the the the, the ketamine queen, and a motherfucker with that is his home, um, that is his home boy who brought the shit. Mm-mm. Get somebody else to do it. Anyway, we are going to get up out of here. Um, and if any more further details drop, I'll be starting to let you know. But until then, y'all already know the vibes. Please don't let the, please don't, please remember to live your life like it's golden. Because there's no other reason, there's no other way to live it and say no to drugs.